outside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Tulsa's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Kansas City's got the puck against the boards. Heads to the back of the net. Taken by McLaughlin. Glove save and the play continues. Into the attacking end. Kansas City's got the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to McLaughlin. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. And there's the save of the play. Pushes it across to Koski. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. And that one's turned aside. Kansas City's looking to break out. Puck scooped up by Constantini. Poked away by Farron. The Mavericks looking against the half wall. Scores! And a rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. played all night, but they finally got something to push back with. Yeah, they get the goal, James, and what I'd really like to see is them be more aggressive now. Listen, they just got one on the board. They've got nothing to lose with a massive deficit. So find a way to create pressure, sustain pressure, and get some shots to net. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Tulsa's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gains the zone through center. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. They fight for it along the boards. Quick pass to Lodge. Gain momentum up along the side. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Oh, and the puck's not loose. Calvis plays it now. Inside his own end moves the puck. The Mavericks need to find an answer in this game. They're halfway through it. They haven't dictated pace. They've been back on their heels. If they want to get back in it, they're going to have to find some energy and some momentum. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Slides the puck down low. Grabs it and rips it. Shuts him down. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a pass down low. Moves it quickly over to Butcher. Huge stop by Morris. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Mavericks gain possession along the wall. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Passes it over to Cotton. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Keeps possession on the play. Here's a blast. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Pinned up along the boards. The Oilers have it now. Here's a short pass to McKee. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot. Nothing. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. Quick feed to Butcher. Oh, the minister of defense with the block. Takes the puck at the point. Sends it onto the net. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Kansas City's got it in the own zone. Handles the pass. 
And let's see what the call is. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. The Mavericks once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Moves it to Carr. Gets it out of his own end. Receives the pass. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get that puck down the ice. Kelvis works the puck in his own zone. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Puts it on there. Put the stop. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face off. The Mavericks win the face off. And he takes the feed. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. Tulsa's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. The Mavericks fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Tonight is our team folks to give away. If you'd like a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to Guest Services to receive your team poster. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Here we go with the start of period number three. I think at this point it might be just playing for pride here. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Oilers have a comfortable lead here in the third period in part due to their good habits, and they've been really effective in all three zones all over the ice. Now they just got to bring it home. So managing and protect the puck is everything. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Puck exits the zone. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Oilers win the defensive zone face-off. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Hayhurst gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Picked off by Jones. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Calvis penalty is about to expire. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Tulsa's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Mavericks win the draw. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Gervais. Right in the slot and it goes just wide. Well, it goes wide, but the puck is finding him, James. is getting to the right place at the right time. Time. If he continues these habits, one is going to convert. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Slick feed. 
Now a quick pass to McKee. Moves the puck back inside his own end. Koski's got it in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sits it in front, and that's stopped. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big time defensive play. Kansas City's got it in the offensive zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Boudria. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Puck picked up by Long. Tulsa's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and a reason why they're on top in this game. And listen, it's a luxury when your coach can look down the bench and look at the second line and see that kind of depth. Just wide! The real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot. And right now, it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Calvis moves the puck. Up along the wing. Duquette's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Calvis. Can't connect as it goes off the stick. And the save. The Mavericks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Duquette. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Wax it into the offensive zone. And he loses control here. Moves the puck. And it's a quick pass to Calvis. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Denies him on the one-timer! The Oilers have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Tulsa's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Colson. Takes the feed. There's a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Oilers lead at 4-1. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. the pass through the middle. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Back to the point it goes. Turns it away. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Oilers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Hayhurst won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Glup save. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weed trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. The Oilers win the draw here. They're on. James, it's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. Trying to right to the front. Oh, just not enough of that to keep it up. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is a penalty. tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and then is it working tonight? The Mavericks have it against the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Here's the shot. And the score! And look at that! The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring! Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Continue to 
attacked and then here in period number three adding yet another goal to their score. Well it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice. Not just the body language but also the vocalness. I mean they're creating all over the ice and it's been real fun to watch. From the right wing he moves into the middle. plenty of offense tonight and they lead here late in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Kansas City's got the puck against the boards. Grabbed along the board by Nakbar. Costantini's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Show, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side? Well, uh, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here. It is one-sided, and it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep grading yourself to the box. The Oilers have their man advantage here tonight once more. When the power play is working, James, man, does it feel good? Everything is working this way. Tight. 